Hey everyone, it's your friend Think Noodles, and welcome to my full walkthrough for Pop Tropica's Backlot Island. This full walkthrough is going to contain a full audio commentary, so if you don't like my voice, you might want to leave right about now. If you're looking for a certain item or task that you just can't complete and can't find in the video, I'm going to be putting time codes in the description below so you can click on them and go directly to the spot. Also, if this video helps you complete Backlot Island, please take a second to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more Pop Tropica walkthroughs. Now on to Backlot Island. So you'll drop right into Backlot Island and they'll think you're a celebrity and of course, as you guys know, I am. I'm Captain Think Noodles. Who else would I be? So they're taking pictures of me and they don't quite think I'm famous, <laughs> but I do travel in a golden blimp. They're right and I am famous, they just don't know any better, and that's okay. We're gonna save the day anyway. So, what you're gonna do is go right into this shop right here, the One of a Kind Talent Agency, and uh, you don't need to bother with any of these people here, just go right over to the owner of the company, and she'll say that you're a natural, you got the look of a star, and then she'll ask you for money. <laughs> of course, that's how all talent agencies are, isn't it? All right, so we don't have $1,000, we're going to have to try and get some money. And she said Harvey Scoops is looking for help with this gossip magazine, also known as a rag. <laughs> Let's head out and uh, we can go find him right now. Harvey Scoops is over on the right. Just run to your right past all this stuff here and go right. And then go past here. No advertisement. Kind of nice to see it nice and open. All right. And keep going all the way until you get, well, I don't know why it makes you stop here, but you can stop and look at Carson Willis. You may have to, but I don't know if you really do, but they'll tell you about Carson Willis, one of the greatest filmmakers of all time, etc. And uh, if you notice the poster right behind my head there, it's uh, the hobo and it looks like the Hobbit. <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool. Okay. So now we're going to continue to the right here and we're still looking for Harvey Scoop and there he is. So just click on him and ask him if you can help. And he'll tell you to climb the building right there and take a picture and he'll post it on his blog. So here's the camera and uh, well, I'll show you guys what happens when you try to use it. You don't need to really try, but I'll show you anyway. So what you do is you jump up here and get up there and there. And uh, when you try and use it, your Pop Tropican doesn't know how to use a non-digital camera. So uh, <laughs> we're going to run to our left here and we need to get some film. And I'm sure some of you have seen film before and some of you actually may not have, but I have. Um, so uh, this is a film camera. So keep running to your left and go past the blimp and then keep going and watch out. Don't get hit by a car. And you're going to want to talk to this guy right here and open up your inventory, show him your camera. And uh, he'll tell you you need film and you won't really know what film is right see what the heck is film and he says put this in the camera it'll work he promises so he gives us some free film that's a nice guy some 800 asa so go ahead and use the film and it'll stick it right into the telephoto camera and then we gotta head right on back so we can take that photo for him and get the money so we can get under the talent agency right okay let's go and keep going to the right and keep on going And of course, keep going and we're, we're almost there guys. Up and then we jump up, jump up, jump up, jump up and get on this. Well, you don't have to get quite on the ledge, but just use the camera and you'll walk over to the edge and just pull the camera down and over to the left here. You'll see the guy come walking through. Just take a couple of shots and an earthquake will happen and you'll tumble down off that ledge and fall into the studio that we couldn't get into before because it said no trespassing. All right, and then you'll wake up. And this is a, uh, <laughs> this is a, a great uh, effect. Um, it looks like, a, and she, you know, he says, I don't think we're in Bob Tropic anymore. Like, I don't think we're in Kansas anymore, but if you jump up, there you go. It was just a, uh, a backdrop there. So go and uh, talk to this lady right here 
and uh, she'll get worried that you're from security, but we're not. So uh, tell her that it's nice to meet her, and she'll tell you you can go right in. So that's what we'll do. Uh, go right into the studio, and of course, we're not going to follow her instructions at all. We're going to go straight in and get in the way. So run across, and uh, you'll interrupt the scene right here. And the actor will be upset and get mad at you and act like actors always do and say, ah, oh, I can't work like this and storm off. And there he goes. Ah, poor old Kirk. Ah, so the director's going to chase after him and we're going to have to do the same. All you need to do is go out here and talk to her again and let her say her piece. So she's going to say, hey, you know, please help us out. So, yep. Once you see the saving game, then you can go and get in the golf cart. You're going to spend a lot of time in it. Okay, now drive down here and we're going to go over to Kirk's trailer, which is right up here. Click Kirk's trailer. And then we'll go over to the left here and click on the director. And uh, there's his name, his full name, Kirk Strayer, the one and only. So uh, we need to save the day. <laughs> of course, it's always on us, isn't it? All right, so let's click on the star's door and see what he wants from us. And uh, not very friendly. Uh, <laughs> and uh, all he asks for is a refill on his half-calf Leviathan Latte Espresso right now. So he throws his cup out the window. We go and pick it up. All right. And let's jump into the golf cart. And head right on back to the studio once we can get out of there, or the sound stage one, I guess. Uh, so we can head out of there. So go to the sound stage, and then run to your left. You saw both of those coffee shops. We're gonna actually have to go to both to make his drink order because each of them is out of stock of one thing. So click on the gate there to open it and click it once more to exit. And we're gonna be using that a lot soon. <laughs> so run to your left here, and we're gonna go into the first coffee shop right over oh i forgot there's a, a screen in between <laughs> all right let's go left one more time all right keep going to your left and we're gonna go into the first queequegs coffee house and just head to your right here and talk to the shopkeeper here the barista and he'll ask you what he can get you but they're out of stuff because when you ask for his drink he says, hey, we're out of lattes, but we got espresso. So what we have to do is combine the drinks to make it a half calf and uh, the right size. So what you want to do here is espresso, infant, decaf. And click buy. There we go. And we've got the first one, the decaf espresso in an instant coffee cup or infant coffee cup, <laughs> little, not uh, right <laughs> as you get it. So then we're gonna run to the left and there's another Kui Quags coffee house. And when I was playing Road to Captain Ding Noodles, I noticed that right away. I was like, hmm, I wonder why there's two. This is why, click on the female barista here and uh, she'll say, hey, we don't have any espresso, but we've got a latte. So what you need to do here is make it a half calf latte. So we'll click on infant size, a latte and caffeine full. There you go, la latte and been full. Click buy. And there we go. Now all we have to do is pour those together into Kirk's cup. So let's click use and just take the eight ounces and dump it. Ah, there we go. Just put it over the cup and it'll dump it right in. Then do one more. Dump it right in. And there you go. You don't even have to push save. There we go. That's what Kirk ordered. Let's head back and see if we can get him to act in the movie because we did what he asked us to, right? All right. Let's head back and run to your right here. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. All right. Keep going to your right. You're going to get a lot of this running back and forth. It kind of reminds me of Nightwatch, where there's a lot of running back and forth. Not necessarily, not quite as much running back and forth, but um, but there is a lot of this uh, going back and forth between Soundstage 1 and um, Sunrise Road. So let's go and get back into our golf cart. 
And you'll spend a lot of time in that thing too. Uh, let's get in here and head right back to Kirk's trailer here. So go down here, down a little bit further, around the corner, up right there. Get, ah, get in there. All right, there we go. Okay, and then we'll go over and knock on his door and give him his specialty coffee that he wanted. There we go. Give it to him and he'll be very happy. That's kind of a thank you. I don't know. <laughs> so it made him happy enough to get back on the set. He's not going to steal your golf cart. Don't worry. And the director will say, hey, you saved the production. Uh, I actually have a few things more for you to do, of course. So uh, let's go help him out. He'll walk away and we can just jump into our golf cart and head on back to sound stage one. Let's go. All right. And I'm going to do, there's four sound stages in total. I'm going to do them in order. One, two, three, and four. That makes it easier for you guys to search through the video if you're looking for one of them. So here we go into sound stage one. And we'll go back into the doors. Right here, recording in progress. That's a good sign. But there seems to be a problem. And of course... The, uh, the union won't let the cameraman operate the camera, but he says uh, we can handle it, so I can try. All right, all we have to do is keep Kirk in the center of the screen. That sounds easy enough. All right, just click the camera. Scene one, take one. And uh, all you have to do is keep him in the middle, and you don't really have to keep it completely in the middle, just for the most part. Um, so he moves along slow here and stops and plays with his flashlight and, and he moves a little bit slow here and then uses his flashlight again. Eventually, uh, there's going to be a cat running from the left here and it'll spook him and he'll jump up the stairs. There we go. There we go. And he's going to go all the way up here. Going to get cold and he's going to run to his right. Then this is going to scare him to his left. Then he's going to stand here and cool off for a second. Then those are going to come. Then he's going to come down and the bear is going to scare him to the left. And the ghost right here is going to scare him to the right. And then he's going to run to the right. Try and keep him. There we go. All right. And that's it. Not too, too hard. Um, as long as you keep him in the frame, you don't even have to keep him in the center of the circle. Uh, it'll work. Because uh, when I did it the first time, I kind of let him out of the frame almost, but just right on the edge, and it was still fine. All right, get in it, and let's go. Okay, let's go on to sound stage two, which is right over here. And let's go in and see what we have to do now. All right, and sound stage two, I think, is going to be one of the harder parts for everyone because finding um, Goldie uh, might be tough. A lot of people might not know where he is, so uh, I have a feeling that this is going to be one of the hardest things to do. So uh, we got to go find Goldie and get the script because uh, he's late with it, and we don't want that. So let's run to our left, and of course, back to sound stage one. Like I said, you're going to be doing that a lot, but um this one uh, you're not gonna do it as much as the last time so go in here and there we go and before we uh go into the town you're gonna want to jump up right on top of this here jump on top of the column then jump on the roof and there is goldie and uh he's typing up his script that was a hint the head in the clouds thing and there goes the script so guess what guys we have to go find it across Sunrise Street, so let's run to our left here, and we'll go and get the four pieces of the script. There's only four, so that's pretty good. And uh, while it says on Sunrise Street, don't be looking at the ground. You need to look up high. And so if you go up on top of this here, you'll see the first one on the antenna here, the TV antenna right here. So that's number one. And they're all up in the air like that, so uh, you shouldn't be looking on the ground if you are. And then uh, next to the Chinese theater, you're going to want to jump up here and jump up there. And then jump on the edge. This red thing will start bouncing, and you just have to bounce higher and higher and higher. Click it to jump at the right time, and then one more, and there we go. Two more left. 
course, they're further to the left, so let's keep right on going. All right, and keep going to your left. Keep on going, and there is one up here on the edge of the coffee cup. There we go. And then we need to go all the way to the left where the common room is. Keep going. Stay on top here. Well, I guess we don't have to, but right here at the edge of the Celebrity Wax Museum, which is the common room, there's the last page of the screenplay. And we just got to head all the way back to the right, back to the um, sound stage number one. Like I said, guys, ugh, it's, uh, it's quite a trek, this back and forth stuff. Uh, Pop Tropica seems to like this kind of, okay, go here and do that and then come all the way back and then go right back there and do it again. <laughs> so uh, I don't know. It's just a similar theme between Nightwatch and Backlot. Okay. And uh, here we go. We're inside. And you don't need to talk to Goldie here, but I did anyway, but he, he doesn't, it doesn't say saving or anything like that. So um, I think you can skip this part because he just says, oh, I just need to get down and that doesn't change anything. So just jump into your golf cart since you have the script anyway, we don't really need him. So let's head back to sound stage number two, go around here, go up and then go around there. Perfect. Now let's go inside. And then once we go inside, recording in progress, and when you talk to her, she's going to tell you, yeah, that's great. Thank you very much, but it's out of order and it's kind of up to you to fix it. So um, thankfully there's only four pages, so we can do that. And I'll show you guys how. Click your inventory, click on the script and click examine. And then uh, you'll see the four different pages and uh, of course the title on top. And uh, there we go, there we go. So uh, the one that says the title, of course, is number one. So we'll put a one there. The one that says pilot, I know what you're thinking is number two. And then the one with the coffee stain in the upper right is number three. And finally, that other one is number four. It says end scene at the bottom. And then click on her again, and she'll say you found the script and it's in order. Of course it is. <laughs> okay, and the lead actress never showed up. So guess what that means, guys? We have to go find a Lacey Williams type. And guess where we have to go to do that? <laughs> back to soundstage one. Ah! Okay, so let's head back. And all right, let's get back into our golf cart. And we're gonna go find a Lacey Williams type. And uh, you guys might be surprised where we find her. So. Let's go right on into the soundstage. And let's run to the left. And keep on going. And let's go right through the gate. And uh, if we're looking for someone, we've got a picture. The best place to go is a talent agency, right? I mean, they know where all the actors are. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to run to our left here and go to the talent agency that we went to in the beginning of the island. Keep going to your left. All right, come on. There we go, there we go. And there it is, one of a kind talent agency. Let's go in and we'll go and talk to the talent agent right here and show her the picture. And once she gets it, she'll admire the picture and say, wow, this is an actress we haven't seen in forever. She was a huge star. And uh, you know, we need some help and she will help us and ta-da it's her so perfect Lacey Williams at our service we got the perfect actress for the movie so let's head right on back <laughs> to sound stage number two and there's one last thing we have to do to complete sound stage number two so let's run to our right here keep going And keep on going, keep it going, keep it going past the man's Chinese theater replica there. And we'll go right in. All right, and then we're gonna run to our right. 
and jump into our golf cart. Okay, now we're gonna head down and around back to sound stage number two, right up here and around the corner. There we go, and in, and in, there we go. All right, let's run to our right and recording in progress. So that means she's helping. <laughs> And, uh, well, we need to act the role of the navigator. We get to be in the movie, guys. Cool. All right. So hurry up and get changed. Run over to your left here. Jump up on top of the poor choice <laughs> and uh, get dressed. And there we are. Here we go. Oh, man. Did you, did you see our costume, guys? We're completely covered. Scene one, take two. And look, my mouth is completely covered. You can't even tell it's me. Okay, so we need to know the lines, and you probably didn't study them, so the first one is but, dash, which is the third option, and uh, she'll continue speaking her dialogue, and then uh, we have to give the right cues, or else we'll have to do the scene over. So the next cue is right up here, and it will be, what do we hand her? We hand her a compass, so that's the top option right there. And then we'll tell her what it is. And then she will jump into the hot air balloon that appears out of nowhere, of course. <laughs> then say, safe journeys, I'll never forget you. So long. And then she takes off. And then sort of appears in the back there. Yep. Bad special effects with the string. Oh! Struck by lightning, say no! And then, there we go. Guess I shouldn't have given her that metal compass in a lightning storm and print it, that's a wrap. Sound stage two completed. And then you'll change out of those ah, unfortunate costume there where they couldn't recognize us and we'll head out of sound stage two and head right into sound stage number three. All right. Let's go to our left here and go down around the corner. And sound stage number three is down this way. And then this way. Oh, ha. All right, we'll go around that way. And we'll go in the side here. And then we'll go into sound stage number three. All right, and we're going into the recording in progress already. Okay. And uh, looks like an interesting scene there. And we'll talk to her and uh, yep, the set builder's not here. We're gonna have to sit, sort through this pile of old props. And uh, this is kind of a puzzle. It's a little bit hard. Um, so what you're gonna wanna do is kind of separate the pieces. That was That's the best thing. And uh, there are a few pieces that kind of have to go in the same spot. And that one needs to go there and that one needs to go there. Um, from there, you can kind of go your own way, but if you want, you can follow the way I went and you put one there and then you're going to take this one and stick it there and then take a square and put it right there. That's perfect. Then you're going to want to grab this one and then move that there and get all these out in the open because, um, it does make it a bit easier. So we'll put that there and that there. Then we'll take this one and stick it in that little hole. Let go. <laughs> there we go. Uh, then we'll put this one. Uh, that's actually not the way we're going to do that. I don't. Yeah, we're missing the piece that I'm thinking of. Um, okay, so let's move that one out of there and move that one away. And then we'll put this one here. There we go. And put that there. That's nice. We've got a nice solid block. Take this and put it right there then we'll take this piece and put it there and then there we go and that's the hardest one the next two are actually identical so you're gonna want to put one right here and oh, not that one we want to put that one right there then put the block right here then put the one that's laying down with that on the left right there then you're gonna want to take another solid block and put it there then take this one and put it there put that there then you're going to want to take this. No, this is not the right one. <laughs> you're going to want to put this one right over here. There it is. That's it. And then you're going to want to put one right there and then take the last square and stick it there. 
And then for the third one, you're gonna wanna do the exact same thing. So start with that one, put that one as the wheels, then put the square one, then put the lying down one. There we go. Then you're gonna put a square there. Then you're gonna wanna put the one hanging over right there Then put another square. Then put the laying down one here. No. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> put it there. And finally, the one that wraps around the top. And that's it. It doesn't look like a train, you are right. But check out what her paintbrush can do. Boom, look at that. That looks like a train. All right, perfection. What do you mean we're not done yet? I fixed it. Oh man, we gotta go back to Sunrise Street. Ugh. All right, well, at least I know where the actors are. That shouldn't be too, too hard. Let's go and jump up here and you'll probably need to get onto the buffalo crate there. Grab the white hat here and the black cowboy hat right over here. And then run to your left, drop down and exit the sound stage number three. Hop back in to your golf cart and head back to soundstage number one. Yeah, I know guys. Well, there's not much more of that we have to do after this part. So you don't have to worry about constantly having to go back and forth. It's almost over. So run to your left here and head out of the studio. There we go. And then you're gonna run to your left, of course. And we're gonna go back to the first coffee shop. Well, the first coffee shop, if you're running to the left. So we'll go into Queequeg's. I think that's the name of it, Queequeg's Coffee Shop, yeah. So keep on going to the left. There we go, keep on going. There we go, Queequeg's Coffee House. And run to your right here and give him the black hat. There we go, black cowboy hat. He is the villain, so he wants to show off his dark side. All right, good man. Okay, and we'll head out. All right, now run to your left, and we're going to go get the other one. And oops, let's go into the digital dreamscapes. Run to your left and talk to the actor in front of the green screen, give them the white cowboy hat, and they'll ditch this digital movie for the movie that we're shooting at the studio. Although I don't know what's wrong with Middle Earthiness, and that was supposed to be Gollum from, uh, from Lord of the Rings or from um, <laughs> The Hobbit, as I was talking about before with the hobo throwback, but uh, yeah. Okay, so let's run to the right. We're going back to soundstage number three, so you guys know the drill. You just keep running through Sunrise Street. I keep wanting to say Sunset Boulevard because that's what it's supposed to be, but keep going to Sunrise Street and uh, keep on going. And did you see the title of the movie there? Cactus Von Garlic Breath. That is the Vampire Hunter from Vampire's Curse Island, if you guys remember. All right, run to your right here. And we'll keep on going, get into our golf cart. And we're gonna head down to sound stage number three. Whoops, I'm uh, destroying property here. Let's go on in. Well, there we go. And head on in, recording in progress. That must mean we have the actors ready to go. Talk to her. And they need a stunt coordinator, so we can do that. And it's uh, pretty easy, actually, guys. All you have to do is uh, there are three things, and you have to do them in order. Start with the buffalo, and as soon as she says, as soon as you see the white bubble pop, just click the buffalo. So bubble pop, buffalo. Then tornado, when you see the bubble pop, tornado. There we go. And then she'll ask for the villain, then click the hat. There we go. Same thing, go right back to the buffalo. There you go. Then the tornado, then the hat. And you just have to do this three times. And uh, the uh, the villain you only have to do twice, but the other ones you have to do three times. So more buffalo, click. <laughs> more tornado, click. And uh, then the villain comes on his own and we catch him right here. 
end of the line, and uh, he says his favorite line, which is his line as a kid star, me no likey, and there we go, print it. We're done with soundstage number three. We only have soundstage four and post-production left. Yes, we still have to do post-production, guys. Okay, <laughs> let's go into the golf cart, and we're going to head straight to soundstage number four. So let's go this way and go around the corner here and go along here. Oops, <laughs> I crashed. Uh, oops, it's right there. Go down. Oh, no, there we go. Okay, get in there. I can't drive this golf cart to save my life. Let's go on into the soundstage and enter this one. And uh, this one isn't as long as the other ones. We don't have to go and uh, run off to some uh, place on um, on uh, <laughs> Sunset. No. What did I say? It was Sunrise Street. So he doesn't want to do the uh, this scene. He doesn't want to wear the gorilla costume. So guess who gets to wear it? Us. That's right, guys. Us, us, us. So uh, let's do that. I, uh, I want to get it. But of course, they're not going to recognize us again because we're wearing a gorilla suit. So you can't tell it's us. But we're starring in the movie again. So here we go. All you have to do is jump on the rooftops all the way to the top and collect the red balloon, pop the green ones along the way. And uh, that's all you have to do is jump and you can jump on top of things like that and break them and it makes it a lot easier. You can also jump on top of the army men um, and crush them. <laughs> uh, but you want to really destroy the red cannons because otherwise they'll shoot you and you'll lose your life and, uh, and you won't do so well. So it's best if you can break them all and that's the last one, and I just killed that guy, <laughs> and I killed that guy too, and I killed that guy too. Well, sorry guys, that's part of the scene, and there we go, let's get the red balloon. Now we have to take a fall, so you have to put up a fight, but you really don't have to do anything, you'll just fall off. There we go. That's great acting, let's print it, and I don't know why we started to float back up to the top. I guess uh, we had a, uh, a cushion. So now all scenes are done, we're going to head to post-production. Let's go on... Oops, <laughs> let's go to the right and get into our golf cart. And post-production is really close, so that's great. Go on here and just around the corner right here is post-production. Perfect. Get in. Get in there. There. Come on. Come on. There we go. All right. All right. Run to your left here and enter the post-production suite. And we'll uh, talk to him and he'll lead us into the film editing room. So let's go over there and fix the continuity errors. And all you have to do is find something that looks different in the three film strips. Fairly easy. Click on it and uh, you can start on the right scene and uh, you'll see. Well, let's see. In scene number three, there it is. Did you see it? He's holding something weird in his paw. So we just go here, use the razor and slice it there and then slice it right there and you got to stay in between the green lines there we go and on this one we just slide it different direction there it is there's a spaceship so uh <laughs> we want to cut that part out too and cut the bottom here all right and we'll do the same thing here and you want to watch his hand on the lower part of the frame there it was there was a banana in his hand let's go to the left there we go and you want to cut that part out cut right there and cut right there and we did it cool now we just have to do the uh, sound editing um, on the Foley board, and uh, that's really not a lot of fun. This one, uh, they don't give you an idea of what you were supposed to use, what the sounds are, so you kind of have to guess. But thankfully, you're watching my video, and you'll know which ones to do. So let's go on over to the right here and use the sound machine here. Okay, let's click Start. And uh, so we're going to do the first scene here. And the first thing you want to do is the one on the right here. And there we go. Click it. Perfect. And the next one you're going to want to use is this blade here. And when it says the when it has the red symbol at the top, that's when you click it. So right now, there's the thunder. And then you're going to want to go to the balloon. And as soon as it turns red, click the balloon. There we go. And then finally, you're going to want to click the water. There we go. Fell into the water. Didn't die. I thought that they died, but they didn't. So the next one, you're going to want this spray paint uh, over fire one right here. Then the dishes. There we go. Then the bear. 
There we go. And then this last one right here, the ghost. Perfect. Now you're gonna wanna go over the buffalo right now, quickly. You need that right at the start. Then the coconuts. Then the whistle. And then finally slapping the meat. <laughs> I don't really know about that one, guys. All right, click it right now. Okay, and then we have the last scene. And uh, the first thing you wanna do is the fan when the plane goes by, so there we go. Then we're gonna wanna do this one where you land, the anvil, then the gorilla as you roar. And then finally, this one, which is you falling, I guess. I'm not really sure. After the uh, planes shoot you down, click this one. Not quite sure what that sound effect was, but there you go, you did it. Now you're actually pretty much done with the entire island. All you have to do is go talk to him. He'll tell you, uh, I can't quite uh, take care of this. You take it to the theater. And that's all you have to do. Um, there's really nothing else. Well, I guess you have to put the film into the film projector, but as far as completing tasks or finding things, you're done. So let's run to our right here and let's go ahead and get that metal. So let's get in here and head out of post production. All right, come on, <laughs> stop crashing. There we go. Let's head into the sound stage here. All right, run to your left here and head out of the studio, of course. All right, and run to your left all the way to the theater and talk to her. Tell her she he's a strange guy. What is his deal? All right, so we'll try and understand by watching the movie. All right, let's go on in. Now run down here and you'll hear the people in the top make a few comments. All right, free popcorn is free popcorn, isn't it guys? All right, let's run to our right here, jump up on top of the stage, then jump onto their little boxes. Keep going, one more. And finally, we get to the projector in the back, open up your inventory, pull out the film reels and use them and the movie will start. And uh, I'm going to be quiet during the movie because, you know, I should be. I'll turn up the music so you guys can watch it.
all right, that's the end of the movie. I did not understand that at all, you guys. That was... <laughs> I don't know. What did you guys think? Yeah, see, exactly. I don't think that made any sense at all. These people apparently loved it. I don't know what they're talking about. It was, uh, I love that joke that, uh, Tropicans don't have thumbs, so they can't give a thumbs up. She'll say uh, it was him. I still don't get it. I don't know. Do you guys get it? Uh, I, I just don't know how any of that went together. But anyway, um, this was his last movie, according to her, his swan song. But he wanted to give us something. And what is it? It's the medal. Yes. All right, guys. Now we have the bonus quest. So um, let's get on to that. She left a camera running on soundstage one. Let's go ahead and start it. All right, let's go ahead and uh, shut off that camera. That sounds really easy, right, guys? Although the evading security part, I'm not so sure about. Let's go on in. And we only have to go to soundstage one. That's great. We don't have to go running through the entire studio. So let's go on in and enter. And the camera's right up the stairs here. There we go. Just click on it. And let's go give it back to her, right? Uh, nope. <laughs> we get caught, of course. And uh, these two ladies look a little upset. I wonder why. Oh, they own the studio and we're trespassing. Oops. I thought that was okay, but I guess not. All right. Well, yeah, that's true. I, but, you, well, hmm. okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't really want to stay where I am. How about I give the camera back? Whoa, we're gonna run! We have to catch us first? I don't know if that's the right thing to do when you're stealing. But anyway, all right, we're gonna avoid that lock back lot security. And you got two minutes, and these uh, are gonna chase you the red car, which is them. And then the yellow one is security. And the best thing to do is try and evade them for a bit. And uh, once you get away from them, so, you know, go around a few corners. Um, and they'll start to fade away and <laughs> those remind me of the XP balls in Minecraft. I don't know <laughs> They look just like them. Oops, and uh, so we're 30 seconds in right here and We got two after us now. Just keep on going around and uh, the green XP balls uh, Help with your life which uh, you see with the red bar on top and uh, you see right now. There's no one around me So just when there's no one around you just sit still and wait because uh, if you keep driving around, you're going to attract more security guards. Uh, when I did it for Road to Captain Think Noodles, I actually got away from everyone. And then I just sat there for like an entire minute and won the bonus quest. So that's the best strategy. Uh, when they do come, run away as quickly as you can. And try and get those uh, XP balls there. Oh gosh, I've only got one left. Um, all right, so 50 seconds left. Just keep on going. And uh, okay, I thought I lost them, but... They're still after us, so keep going around the corner. Oh boy, give me that, give me that. All right, good. All right, I got one more health point left. And uh, there's no one around us here, so, um, oh, I take it back. There they are, but they're not following. So, uh, like I said, once you've cleared out where everyone, oh man, I ran into some people here. Uh, let's go around here, grab that. Oh man, I am almost dead, but I lost them, so. We'll just sit here and let it finish off. You see, you can do that a couple of times and it does make it easier. That's the best strategy that I could find is to just sit still and not attract any extra attention. And two and one and zero. Mission complete. And they'll be very, very angry that we got away from security. We completely foiled their security and they tell us we should be a stunt driver. And they let us keep the camera. So that's uh, that's what you get for the bonus quest, to keep the camera. And there we go, we completed the back lot island bonus quest. There you go, the entire walkthrough and the bonus quest. I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks for watching, and of course, noodle on!